Hello everyone, my name is Yogi and today we are covering new time signature. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, then please click over there. So without wasting any more time friends, let's start new time signature. So today's time topic is uh, new time signature. So you remember till now in grade one, we have learned four as the bottom number. And we know that the bottom number shows the which what is the value of the beat you're going to put in your bars so now in the, in the one new time signature which we are going to learn today is called 3 by 8 that means till now we have learned 3 by 4 or 3 by 2 that means uh, 4 crochet beat then in 4 crochet beat sorry 3 crochet beat in one bar or 3 minimum bit in one bar but now we know that 8 represent the note which is called quiver note which we have learned in grade 1 but at that time we used to put it as a beam together we never used to put it separately okay but now here we have to put it separately so that means now 3 by 8 means that we will have 3 quiver beat in one bar okay now if we move forward you can see in the example here 3 by 8 means 3 quiver beat in one bar and you have to beam them together you cannot write them separately if you write them separately it will be wrong okay now i told you here that here in this grid we can write them separately that does not mean that you write like this separately i mean to write like this separately okay so if we have three together then you have to beam them together write this we cannot do that we cannot write separately but if it's like this separate beats then we have to put them separately okay so don't get confused with that so if you see three quiver beats showing in a pattern they should be beamed together remember that okay now if you see how to give the rest put the rest in three by eight if we have one quiver beat then next two should be put it separately they cannot be put it one because see these two make the value of one crochet beat so that means if we put one crochet rest here the value complete is complete but still we do not do that we have to write two separate quiver rest over here okay now in the last example they have showing now they showed that you cannot put two you cannot make two quiver rest as one crochet rest but you can make two quiver beat as one crochet beat because if you're putting tie here that does not make sense you can present them as a quiver beat if we are putting tie there and if you're not putting tie there anyways you can write these two together as a beam together okay yes now let's on move on to the next page for the new time signature another time signature we are learning now the another time new time we are learning today is called two by two now till now we have learned four by four yes if you remember four by four and which which we can represent through this off that means common time signature now we can represent two by two also through this but we have to put a cut in between so remember two by two means c with the cut and four by four means c without the cut if you see any time signature with the c that means four by four if you see cut with the c on the c that means two by two so now two by two means two minimum beats in one bar as simple as that now how you can put them you can see you can put a minimum rest and then a crochet rest and then you can put a minimum beat you cannot write three different crochet rest like that this, that will be wrong because the the node value will be one minimum so what for one minimum you can put that but same time if in the next example you will read this if this is first you are giving crochet beat then you cannot then you cannot put one minimum rest in between then you have to put because you have to complete the value of this first because they're given two by two so first complete the value of one minimum so how you will finish this if they given one crochet beat you will add a one crochet rest that will complete the value of one minimum then you can go for the next minimum value understood i hope you will understand this one uh, next you can see see you can do it like this also you can put four quiver beat 
beam them together and then write two quiver bead and then one crotchet bead you cannot make them separately they need to be together this we have learned in grade one also okay so now let's uh, there's one more three by two as i told you earlier uh, that means here you can show it to a dotted semi brave dotted semi brave means three minims in one bar so this timing you can write either this way or you can write this semi brave dotted semi brave note also okay so now let's on move on to the next page now in this page they are saying write the correct number of beats quiver crotchet or minims in each of the following bars so let's you can see the example given here so we have to start with the two by two so in two by two we know there should be two minim beat so we'll write two minim beats okay let's make them minim now next is two by four that means two crotchet beat in a bar this is we are just doing the natural way what we what it's supposed to be you can write in in a different way other ways also but right now we are showing what does it actually mean okay now three by two means three uh, minim bits in one bar for right now we'll show it through one dotted semi brave note sorry could not show it i'm so sorry for that guys uh, now i think you can see it now so three by two will show it through uh, dotted semi brave rest uh, so, sorry semi brave note now three by four three by four means we need to have three crotchet beats in one bar because the bottom number is four that means a value should be a crotchet beat so one two three one two three one two and three let's make them crotchet okay now next is three by eight three by eight means the value of the note should be a quiver and they should be three in one bar so that means one two three one two three one two three now make them quiver but if you remember we cannot write them separately we have to beam them together okay yeah now next is c with the cut common time you can see here now common time that means this is two by two this is not four by four because there's a cut in uh, between there so let's mic again two minimum beats next we have four by four common time signature that means four by four so i hope now you understood the difference this is only c no cut that means four by four and if you see a cut that means two by two okay now here we have to put four crotchet bit because the bottom number is four that means the value of the note should be a crotchet note crotchet beat okay i hope you understood this now let's move on to the next page so now in the second page we have to fill the colored boxes with correctly grouped notes to complete the bars so we have to fill the bars over here with the colored boxes okay so let's do a start here this is two by two that means we should have two uh two minim beats in one bar okay so we have they have given us one crotchet beat that means first we have to complete the value of this so let's make one crotchet beat here okay and uh, then we can have one we can make it either we can have one minimum beat or we can have two more crotchet beat or let's make it with 
uh, group we'll just let's just group this one with the quiver beads okay next is three by two that means we should have three minimum beads in one bar so we have this crochet bead let's complete with this first let's complete this crochet bead first yep now for this uh, now we have one minimum over here so we need one more minimum over here so what we can do we can put one minimum or we can put two crochet bead or we can have uh, lev let's have one minimum only over here so we can do it okay so three by eight so they have that means three quiver of beads in one bar so we have one crochet that makes two quiver of bead so we need one more so we make one quiver of bead here okay now the next is three by eight same we need three quiver of bead in one bar now you can see one quiver bead here so over here we need to put one crochet bead we cannot put two quiver bead here because remember in one bar if we have three quiver beads we need to beam them together but this is separate so we cannot beam it we have to show the crochet bead separately uh, let's come to the next one that means three crochet bead in one bar so they have given dotted crochets let's complete with the quiver first this one so that makes one crochet bead and then last one crochet bead so we got one and these two make one crochet bead and this is three so one two three okay next is two by two times signature that means two minimum bead in one bar they have given us two crochet bead now let's complete this with our four quiver of beads so that will complete our second minimum bar value with this one okay now the next one we have is three by eight that means again we need a three quiver bead in one bar uh, you can see they're given one so again same here will come one crochet bead over here okay and the last is see common time that means four by four that means four crochet bead in one bar so they have given one dotted crochet so we'll complete this crochet first with the quiver that makes one crochet so we got two crochet now we can have again uh, four quiver to complete the time signature okay yeah here so that's how we complete this one okay so let's move on to the next exercise now in this question we have to fill the colored boxes with correctly group rest to complete the bars okay so let's start let's start with the first one this is two by two that means we should have two minimum beads in each bar so we have given one so let's make one minimum rest here okay now next is three by two but the whole bar is empty so we have to make a semi brave rest here yep next we have given three by eight that means we should have three crochet bead value all total now we have given one crochet that means we in one quiver rest here 33 by 8 one node given here that means we need two quiver rest we cannot make one crochet rest. that will be wrong here okay remember that 3 by 8 the whole bar is empty that means one semi brave rest 4 by 4 one and a half beat first we have to complete this one so we need one quiver rest to complete this part this beat now we can have one minimum rest okay next is two by two let's complete this first first we'll make a quiver rest now we'll make a one crochet rest and then we can have one minimum rest okay next is three by two now in this that means three minimum beats in one bar so we can have one minimum rest then one more minimum rest and then to complete this one crochet or rest okay so here we finish this one let's move on to the next page now in this page we have to look at the following music add bar lines to agree with the time signature now we have to check the time signature and according to that we have to put the bar lines there so let's start with this one first that means two by two that means we should have 
two minimum beats in each bar. So let's count one. This make one minimum beat. These two make one minimum. That makes one bar line here. Then these two make one minimum beat. This is one minimum rest. A bar line here. Then two minimum beats. One bar line here. And the last is one queer semi grave note. Next is three by two. That means we need three minimum beats in one bar. One minimum rest one more minimum beat one more minimum beat that makes three minimum beat then one two and these to make one minimum beat makes three one semi brave note one minimum that makes one more bar line okay now the next we go is three by four that means we need three crochet beat in one bar so means one two three now this is one and a half so we complete this with this so this is half and half makes one crochet so this one this one make one crochet beat so that makes two and three one two three and one two three okay now the next we have four by four that means four crochet beat in each bar so we go one two three four one two three four one two three four and the last is one two three four okay now let's move to the next exercise now in this one we have to write four bar rhythm using the note and rest values you know including at least three rest in each rhythm so now we have to write a rhythm in which we have to include the notes and the rest we know and we have to include at least three rest in each bar okay in each rhythm so let's start this one so let's start first two by two that means we need to have two minimum beat in each bar so let's start let's make the bar first that makes our life easier okay now let's uh, make the notes so we have first let's make a minimum note then we can have a minimum rest next we can have a semi brave note then we can have one crochet rest one crochet beat one more crochet rest and one more crochet beat in the end we can have let's make two minimum beats okay next is three by two that means we need to have three minimum beats in each bar so let's start with uh, one minimum note then we can have one minimum rest then we can have one more minimum note now we can have a crochet beat then we can have one crochet rest then we can have one minimum beat and we can have one more crochet rest and one more crochet beat okay next we can have one dotted semi brave note and in the end we can have one semi brave rest okay three by eight that means we need to have three quiver beat in one bar so we can start with one quiver rest then one quiver beat then we can have one crochet beat in it okay next we can have one crochet beat and then one crochet rest here next we can have three crochet beat okay and in the end we can have one crochet quiver beat we can have one quiver rest and then we can have one more quiver rest okay now the last one is two by four now in two by four what we're going to do that means we need a two crochet that means we need a two crochet beat in each bar okay so let's start uh, so, sorry guys here i think we have to make a we have to beam them together we cannot make because that makes the value of okay so always remember these kind of mistakes 
sometimes even we can make when we are in hurry this happens okay now uh, we can have Now in the next we can have three quaver beat in one bar so we can start with one quaver rest then one quaver beat and then we can have one more quaver rest here now we can give one crochet beat and one quaver rest now we can have three quaver beats beam together and then we can have one crochet beat let's give one crochet beat and then we can give one more crochet sorry quiver rest here okay now next is two by four now in two by four what we can do we can give we have to have two crochet beat in one bar so we start with one crochet beat and then one crochet rest next we can have one minimum beat next we can have one start with one quiver of rest then one quiver of note and then one crochet note okay next we can have one or let's do two crochet notes okay now let's move on to the next page now in the next page uh, the following music contains mistake in the grouping of the notes and rest write it out correctly so we have to correct the uh, mistakes which they have given here so let's start you can see the example and go through it on your own we'll start straight away with the uh, second exercise so we'll first we'll make the our treble clef next the common time signature that means now the timing will be two by two two crotchet beat value in one bar okay so you can see one, two, three crochet beats. So, but this is a tie here. This is unnecessary tie. Instead of this, we can make one minim note instead of two crochet beat. Okay, let's make the bar first. Then we'll do it. Okay, so instead of this two crochet, we can have one minim beat only. Now after this we can have this crochet beat and one more crochet beat. This one is fine. Okay. Now next we have you can see this one more two mini beats given here and they have tied together. This is unnecessary. Instead of this we can give one semi brave note here and this note is in another bar so there we can tie this one yeah next is crochet beat next is minimum this is fine because it's going to the another bar so that will be fine okay this crochet note this crochet beat space in the line and you can tie these two together okay now next we move to this is called again the same two by two time signature so let's make the treble clef first this is key signature b flat that means this is f major and the common time signature two by two so now in this you can see they've given two crochet beat instead of this we can give one semi brave rest let's make the uh, bar lines first now after this we can have instead of these two we can have one minimum rest and we can have two crochet beats now next we can have uh, one minim beat here now this is unnecessary then the same bar they are tied together instead of this we can have one more minim beat here this is fine then again same thing same mistake 
then to minimum b this is fine so we make we can go down also in this and up also in this one because this is center notes middle notes here we have to go up to go up okay now the next one in the next one what we're doing is called three by four that means we should have three crochet beat in one bar so let's make the clef first this is bass clef and again this is f major scale yeah now let's make the bar first okay so first you can see they've given this note accented this is fine so we have one minimum beat here with an accent one more with an accent now this tie is fine because it's going to the another bar this is the saccato okay now next is now this is unnecessary instead of this we can have one dotted crochet note here let's have a dotted crochet note here and we can have this quiver note here Sorry, we made it on the wrong place. And then we can have one crotchet beat. Now this tie is okay because this is going to the next bar. these are saccato now this is again same thing we have to make it a crotchet dotted crotchet that is unnecessary then we can have one quiver beat then one crotchet beat okay now let's move to the last exercise of this topic now this one is three by eight that means we need to have three quiver beat in each bar so let's make our treble clef first time signature now let's make the bar first okay now in this one you can see they've given one rest this is fine but now they have given two quiver beat so instead of giving them separately we have to write them together we have to beam them together okay next we have three quiver beats again they have been written separately that is wrong we cannot write in that way we have to beam them together okay next is this this one is fine to cross it be beat beam together then we have no this is wrong because they all should be together i thought this is a rest so but this is a quiver note they should be beamed together okay and the last one see this is a tie unnecessary so here we can make it a crotchet note and then we can have one quiver beat see these kind of things you have to be very careful sometimes when you're in hurry or you're thinking too much that these things we miss okay so i'm sorry for this one they have to be all together okay so now this we finish this topic here i hope you like this topic now i'll see you in the another topic till then thank you